Hi everyone, today we are going to learn to reduce the differential equations to some exact differential equations by using different methods. Now let's consider a differential equation in given in first order, first order differential equation m of xy times dx plus n of xy times dy equals zero is not exact not exact let me write it here it is not exact so partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of n over sorry uh, partial derivative of n with respect to x so if let me write the definition first if the functions m of x y and n of x y are both are both homogeneous of the same order or the same degree sorry the same degree m so both functions are homogeneous of degree m then then so this equation is not exact and m and n are homogeneous of the same degree m then the the integral factor the integral factor to reduce to reduce the equation equation to some uh, exact exact differential equation can be can be found by using the or the calculating the integral factor mu of xy equals 1 over x times m of xy plus y times n of xy this is a practical way to determine uh, the integral factor mu of xy if if the functions m and n are both are both homogeneous of the same degree m now let's see an example in the example the equation is given as y squared minus xy times dx plus x squared dy is zero now first let me name the coefficient of dx as m of xy and the coefficient of dy is n of xy and let let me check if this equation is exact or not partial derivative of m with respect to y equals 2y minus x and partial derivative of n with respect to x is 2x so the condition is not satisfied that means the equation is not exact the given equation this equation is not exact so let me check of course i am going to uh, check uh, probably there is a way or there's an integral factor to reduce this equation to some exact differential equations but an easy way is a way to determine the integral factor is is that let me check if m and n are homogeneous functions of the same degree now let me write m of xy equals y square minus xy and let me check the the degree of homogeneous homogeneity of m is calculated by m of tx ty equals uh, let me substitute tx t times x instead of uh, x in the function and ty instead of y in the function so ty square minus 
tx times ty that is t square y square minus xy that is t square times m of xy that means the function m of xy is homogeneous of degree 2 this one is the degree so second degree second degree homogeneous function now let me check n n of xy is x square and n tx ty equals t square x square that is t square times n of xy that is again n is also second degree homogeneous function so the homogeneity degrees of both functions are the same so i can write an integral factor lambda xy let me name it i i just used lambda uh, instead of mu there is no problem it is just an integral factor lambda xy this integral factor is of the form can be determined by 1 over m times sorry x times m plus y times n that is 1 over x times m is y square minus xy plus y times n n was x square so this can be calculated as x y square minus x square y plus y x square so the last two terms are cancelled then i determine the integral factor as lambda is equal to 1 over x times y square this is the integrating factor so when i multiply the equation with this integral factor it is going to be an exact equation so let me multiply lambda xy times y square minus xy times dx plus lambda xy times x square dy is zero i multiply the equation by lambda both sides of uh, equation of course uh, let me write the functional values here uh, lambda equals one over x y square times y square minus x y times dx plus one over x y square times x square dy is zero when re i rearrange the equation i find it uh, 1 over x minus 1 over y times dx plus x over y square dy equals 0 now uh, let me call the coefficient of dx m tilde oxy and this one is m tilde oxy and let me check the uh, exactness condition partial derivative of m tilde with respect to y is equal to 1 over y square and partial derivative of m tilde with respect to x is again 1 over y square they are equal to each other so the equation is exact this equation is now an exact differential equation so it must have a solution of the form f of x y is c is equal to c some constant c satisfying that satisfying that partial derivative of f with respect to x equals m tilde xy and partial derivative of f with respect to y and tilde x 
y so i want to now my aim is to determine f by starting uh, this point i have chosen this point again partial derivative of f with respect to x equals m tilde that means 1 over x minus 1 over y then del f equals 1 over x minus 1 over y times del x then i integrate both sides f of x y equals I don't know x minus x over y plus a generic function h of y so when I determine h of y I use the second equality this one partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to this one the derivative of ln of x with respect to y is 0 so this one is x over y square the derivative of minus x over 2 plus the h over dy equals n tilde n tilde is x over y square so the h over dy has to be equal to 0 that is h of y is equal to some constant c1 c1 constant so now i can write this solution f o x y as ln of x minus x over y plus c1 equals c2 so this solution can be rearranged by writing it as ln of x minus x over y equals c where c is c2 minus c1 all are constant all c's are constant here